Elon Musk, the troubled billionaire, is currently in court for a firm he did not take private while still dealing with the consequences of one he did. Musk asserted in a tweet on August 7, 2018, that he had secured the finance to pay for a $72 billion acquisition of Tesla. He later emphasized this assertion in a statement that suggested a transaction was close at hand. But since the buyout never happened, Musk will now have to defend his actions in a San Francisco federal courtroom while being sworn in. The trial was sparked by a class action complaint on behalf of investors who held Tesla stock for a 10-day period in August 2018. Jury selection for the trial will begin on Tuesday. When it became clear that Musk did not have the funds for a buyout after all, the spike in Tesla's stock price that was sparked by his tweets at the time unexpectedly came to an end a week later. As a result, he abandoned his intention to take the automobile private, which led to a $40 million settlement with U.S. securities regulators and his removal as the chairman of the firm. Since then, Musk has claimed that he entered the deal under duress and that during conversations with officials from Saudi Arabia's public investment fund, he believed he had secured funding for a takeover of Tesla. The jury's understanding of Musk's motivation for tweets that U.S. District Judge Edward Chen has already determined were fraudulent might determine the trial's outcome. Musk suffered yet another blow on Friday when Chen rejected his request to move the trial to Texas, where Tesla will be relocating its headquarters in 2021, a federal court. Musk had maintained that the San Francisco Bay Area jury pool in California had been tainted by negative coverage of his purchase of Twitter.